Hi everyone, it's Jack here at Main Skill. So what we are on with today is we're on the YouTube channel first of all. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. But what we are on with is we are on with dipping the ewes. So we do this every year. So you dip the sheep, you do this for a few different things. Uh, one thing's to prevent fly strike, so maggots getting into the wool. So if they're a bit mucky behind, like that one there, you don't want them to get flies around them, hanging around them, laying eggs, and then maggots. So that's why you do it first of all. Second of all, you want to prevent diseases such as scab and the such like. So that's the thing that you can get on the skin, and uh, it's very nasty, it spreads between them all. So this prevents that as well. So here we are, we've got Ian here. Give us a wave, Ian. There you are. There he is, and we got Matthew. We've got Ian's dogs here, we've got a team here, four today. And what they are doing is, we are pushing them up into here. And this is Neil Fell's dipping thing. So this is how he dips the sheep. So what you do is, you run them up here. Good. Up there. Oh God. Like that. Once they're away, they're good. And they run up here into this metal cage on the back. And then they get dipped up and down. I'll show you that in a second. Just they'll push these up. Oh, you can soon get it back to Right. Good, good. Good. That's it. Move it. So the spotties are all done, so well that whole first group's done to be honest, but we've just got the spotties here, we fetched them home. So the spotty ones, Dutch spotted ewes and lambs, they live at Main Skill itself. They live here where the farm shop is, so people like them as well. So here they come. So here they are, they're back now. Putting them back on the back field here, behind the farm shop. Let them out here and then, uh, well, I don't think we'll get to them later on this afternoon because we're going to do another group of sheep now. But at some point later on this week, 
we're going to wean all the lambs off so we're going to leave the ewes in here split the tup lambs over there so there's eight tup lambs and then the two gimmer lambs we'll just have to keep them separate as well they can go on the front field with the donkeys so there we go good So that's it, they're all dipped now, they're all done with. So they've done a good job. So this down this side, I never got a chance to show you is where they were coming out, they were coming down this ramp. Just packing up now, job done. So packing up now, putting it all away. And the sheep are all back out in the fields. So they're all out there, dotted about. So that's this group and the other group done. Uh, I'm not sure how many we did actually. We can soon find out though hours though and we've had to move I'll soon find out how many did we do in total two seconds 668 668 and it only took a few hours there you go but we can do that a lot quicker we only had to it's only because we had to move that slowed the job down so six six eight to move but that was with all the ewes and lambs mixed in so we pulled all the biggest lambs out earlier this week they've all been weaned now and took to some other fields because when you dip sheep they have a withdrawal of 49 days on them so you can't use any of these lambs in the farm shop for 49 days now seven weeks so that's why we pulled out quite a few put them into a different field and then we'll use them while these ones are on the withdrawal so that's good Anyway, thanks for watching. See you later.